business. We're going to go to Bernie's Beach Bar Entertainment license. We've had a number of meetings on this. We've had a number of uh, people commenting and on the noise. We've had experts in on both sides discussing it with us. We've had reports from the police department on the issue. So I think what we're going to have to do is go to the board now, and the board's going to have to make a decision on this, on what they're going to do. So I'll be glad to make a motion. But, but Phil? I want, to, down. I want to uh, recuse myself from the board, Mr. Chairman. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Well, first of all, I want to say that it looks like there's still issues primarily after 11 o'clock at night. Um, but I also want to say that to single out one establishment is wrong and can't be done. Because I don't see any direct proof in front of me that shows violations per where the ordinance says the violations have to occur. We may have them, I haven't seen them yet. So I think the board needs to consider something that this whole ordinance needs to be reviewed completely. For either the time, and the time needs to be applicable for all. So cutting, up, cutting off Al Flurry at one specific time and not doing it to all of the businesses is not going to work in my book. So I would um, like to hear maybe, I have a motion in mind, but I would like to maybe hear from board members first before I state it, if that's okay. Can yeah, I we'll just ask Fred one question? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Sure. Uh, Fred, uh, like in the um, DPW director's uh, uh, letter that he wrote, he's uh, asking that this be tied to the entertainment license. Now, is uh, these health issues, are they, can they be tied to the entertainment license or to the opinion, license? They, in my opinion, they could not be. They're separate issues dealing with different codes. So let, let's continue. Rusty? Well, you, you know, people think that, you know, we just sit up here and I've spent at least five nights down the beach specifically on this this issue um, Saturday night I was at, at I went down to Bernie's 1030 at night um, I went down listened they had a very large crowd there I hadn't seen that many people there in a long time um, listened had a conversation while I was standing at the rail um, could hear that person talking back and forth normal conversation I then got in my car and uh, walked across the street to my car and listened for a while. I went down to Haverhill Ave, Bradford Ave, and the noise was not obtrusive. They had a big band playing there, I guess. I assume it, it was with the crowd that was there. I didn't, it's not my style music, so I didn't, uh, I didn't say, but the, the noise wasn't loud. Uh, I did this back in early June. I went in July too, but in early June, uh, I went and listened, and uh, it, it was funny because I was sitting on Haverhill Street, and the music coming out of one of the houses on Haverhill Street was louder than the music being played at at Bernie's. Now, that doesn't create to uh, an entertainment license, but the fact is you have ambient noise all around the place. Uh, you have motorcycles going by. You have people yelling and hollering. Um, so I agree with the, the the police chief that he he's addressed that. Yes, maybe something is there, but he can't necessarily tell. If you put up meters to to watch it, you can't tell where that sound is actually coming from. You can't. Um, you can't sit, the ordinance is not clear enough to say, as some people say, it's at the property owner's, at the business owner's property line. And other people say it's at the property line of the offensive, of the person that feels offended. We definitely have to work on this, uh, this noise ordinance. Uh, I would like to see us form a committee to address this ordinance and, and have some p business people, have some uh, residents look at the ordinance and see if, in fact, for next year, if it's something that we need to address. I think it is. 
I think 50 when when I watch this one of these decibel meters and and watch it and people talking conversation is almost at 50 I know down the beach and I've lived on that beach for quite a long time um, worked on that beach for a long time just the ambient noise around there most of the time is over 50 unless you're there in January or February but then I think the wind would be uh, that noisy too so I think it is something that needs to be looked at and uh, I'm waiting to see what what happens with a motion here I'll let everybody else have their talk before we decide to come up with a motion and so in my opinion it should be 11 o'clock for everybody and if people are there's people when it was 11 o'clock there were people then that played after 11 o'clock no one complained there was no problem and it could still be the same way people should be able to complain to 11 o'clock if there's any problem I think 10 o'clock is unreasonable and because this is a beach resort uh, but by 11 o'clock there shouldn't be any noise that's totally uh, annoying other uh, neighbors and neighbors that are far away neighbors that are close wherever uh, if they can um, play after 11 and no one's going to be concerned it would I wouldn't have a problem with that that's the way we've did it for years this went to a uh, 1131 the one year that I was not here in the last 15 years this law got changed but before that it was always 11 and we we didn't really have any problems I can think of one place we had a problem with in all those years and uh, and it was actually two uh, and one of them th there were so many complaints with the liquor commissioner that no one ever questioned it was just a problem um, so I think that we should make it 11 o'clock and if people can play louder and there's no complaints so be it it's you know there's a lot of things uh, the police do what they can as long as no one's complaining I don't you know I don't have a problem with it I definitely feel that we need to redo this uh, um, ordinance and the last time it was done it was done exactly like what you're suggesting rusty the uh, the public was involved Al was very much involved in it um, everybody was excited everybody thought they were doing the right thing the police chief thought he was doing the right thing and I guess it couldn't have turned out worse didn't solve one thing and has done nothing but waste this board's time ever since and actually the first time before we got to that there was a lot that went in and there were a lot of public hearings uh, so this is obviously a hard problem um, but we have a responsibility to the people and we have a responsibility I still want to know what's going to be done with these trash cans they don't belong there there's no one's given them permission why are they there this is not right um, I know I know Rick's concern about the trash and I believe that Mr. Flurry is well aware of the trash condition. Now I am and I would love to talk to you and tell you how Okay, well, but that, that's a separate issue. Right. Actually, but, and Fred I mean, said it's a separate issue. Let's deal with the Right, with the, so this. as far as the interest, I agree with Rick. Okay. I think the ordinance is, you know, the more, the more you get involved in something, sometimes the more problems it creates. So, you know, we had it at 11 and it was fine. Now we have it at 11.59. We got 50 decibels after 11. Sorry, but 50 decibels is ridiculous. It's unenforceable. Now, yes, the police can go down and say, oh, yes, it's 55. Yes, technically that's, you know, over the limit. But by the time, which residents have pointed out to me that live on Havel Ave, they call the police. By the time the police get down there, because you know they're doing something else when you call them, plus if there's traffic, whatever the case is, it's 15, 20, 25 minutes have gone by. So they take the reading. It's not going to be the same reading that you took from your phone or whatever you used. It's, it's, <coughs> we're running around in circles. And now Al, Bernie's is new, so there is new music coming that people aren't used to. But I'm down that beach. I work down there two nights a week. I am down there at least three or four nights a week. And every other time I'm down there, I either actually physically go into Bernie's. I was there one night this weekend when Rusty was there. We were up on the deck. We had a conversation. I walked over to Havel Ave. I used my phone. I know that's not the most accurate thing, but the highest reading I got, I think it was about 1030. I was on the Havel side of the bathrooms, and it was maybe like 62, 63. 
and then I went over later in the night and I think it was lower than that. I didn't I didn't keep as good track of it as I should and I apologize for that. But I've gone to every bar in that beach and Bernie's is no louder, if not less loud, than the other bars down there. So Could you I just wait, 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 let me wait, just wait. Point of clarification. You work at the beach, but you do not work at the I do not Al. work okay. at the beach. Okay, I want to make sure there's Mama no Leone's. conflict of interest here. I bought Nobody thinks that. Twice a week. And I'm going to say right, something, so hang on. <laughs> All right, All right. So, I, so I'm going to speak too. So <laughs> number one, on the on the vulgar language, the fellow that was speaking about the vulgar language, I agree with you 100 percent on that. But I also know that it's a free speech issue and it's terrible. I worked at a school where they made kids take off their T-shirts that were vulgar. The parents sued the school, sued the town, and they won that they could wear. And they were vulgar T-shirts. They were terrible. The, the way language is today, it's it's horrendous what people do and say, but it's protected speech. And that's terrible. I, I agree 100% with that. The other thing is, all I can speak for is myself. I went down to Bernie's Friday night. My wife and I stood at the railing and had a conversation, an easy conversation. And my wife said, we've been at weddings when you couldn't talk like this. We were right in front of where the band was playing. We left. We went over to Haverhill Street or Haverhill Road. We sat there on the bench right by there and could not distinguished noise that was uh, excessive. I drove up to Boar's Head. I stopped my car. I got out of the car. We sat there for a while listening. And I mean, I can only speak for myself. I mean, that's exactly what I what I that's experienced. Right. And it was, I've been in a lot of music venues, and they've been a lot louder than that. Drive you crazy. You couldn't have a conversation. I mean, we could have a normal conversation without yelling at each other. I agree with the other issue, the whole uh, trash issue, I agree 100%. That's got to be cleaned up, absolutely, and we've got to deal with that if it doesn't. But on the noise issue, I, I just all I can speak for is myself. I mean, I hear, I listen to experts, but then all I can speak for is myself and what I heard with my own ears. And, you know, I had my, my wife was with me and what she heard. That's all I can speak to. So, Rick, go ahead. Okay, I'll make the motion that um, the... Uh, the nor the nor the uh, noise ordinance go to eleven o'clock like it always was when we didn't really have any problems. Let the police take care of it. If there's a problem, let the police take care of it. But that's what they should they that's what they should be doing. Let them get out and deal with the people. So that but the the motion we need has to deal with allowing granting Bernie's Bernie's license. Bernie's license. So what you're saying, Rick, is to grant Bernie's till 11 o'clock? If everybody's at 11, uh, let them yeah. all be that way. But, Why should they all be different? But we're dealing with Bernie's license right now. So we have okay, well, it change. should be 11 o'clock then. Can we change the ordinance to 11 o'clock, just us? No. no. Tell, tell me you vote to do that. So, right. so what? That's true. I still say that it should stay you, at 11 o'clock, and then we should work to that goal. We what, can't change the ordinance. What the board can do. Under the section 149-9, uh, subsection A, outside entertainment, activity shall only be allowed between the hours of 12 noon and 11.59 p.m. or earlier if specified by the Board of Selectmen. And that's Those are what the we're trying to do. So that's the motion that I want to make, 11 o'clock. And I think that that's reasonable. There's some people here that want 10. He wants 12. That's somewhere in the middle, 11. I think we've compromised. And I think that we should work to make sure it's that way everywhere. Uh, we should sponsor uh, an article uh, to be put forth that it's 11 o'clock for all entertainment license. And then if they can play later and not have a problem, who cares? That's the way it is everywhere. We're not looking to have a bigger government. But We're just looking to make sure the government takes care of what's happening. And that's not what's happening here. Right, but if you if you say that he can play till eleven, he can play then, later, but it just can't be making noise. After he can't be playing a full band until twelve o'clock at night. Yeah, that's a problem. If you I, haven't heard I, that, I, it's, you, I agree. You're deaf. I'm not deaf, Greg. Well, and I agree with you. No, no, let's keep. We're going to keep it I, and simple I'm, amongst the board. I'm trying to. Yes, do I that. know that. That if you say it's eleven, then that's what it is. It's eleven. I don't think we can. No, say, if you well, say it's 11, you can't go... The, right. The, yeah. You can't say, well, they can do it afterwards as long as it doesn't bother anybody. That You can't say that. That's not part of the, what this motion has to be. 
Am I correct? Well, Fred? well it could be right. 11 you, as long as, you know, you don't have to continue I, the loud noise. I have a problem having one rule for okay. Bernie's. Hang, not, on, hang on one second. We have a motion. Do we have a second? We don't have a second. Motion do, does, doesn't pass. Do we have anybody else making another motion? Yeah, I'd like to make a motion that we give Al his license and we see him again in April. Do we have a second? I think this is terrible. You're not listening. Wait, wait, to the wait, 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 wait. Do we, we have well, a second? We're going to discuss this. We're going to fix gonna the ordinance. Ordinance. We're going to discuss gonna it. Do. I'm waiting to see if we have a second. So it applies for everyone. Remember. Do we have a second on Regina? We, we're going to have to make some kind of decision here, guys. The voters are ultimately going to make yes, a decision. Yes, that's fine. That's right. Well, okay, okay would you hold on, Rick? I know you're getting angry, but hold on I'm because we're going to have some decorum here, all right? Do we have a second from Regina's motion? I'll second it for discussion. Okay, now we're open to discussion. I'm going to start over here, Regina. Okay. The problem, which I have talked to every single person, except for John that lives behind Patricia. I have not talked to him personally. But, you know, everyone's told me that it's better. Now, they have problems. The problems that appears to me are happening mostly after 11 o'clock. Okay? So, after 11 o'clock, if you're down on the beach after 11 o'clock, you walk on the boulevard at 10.30, you got traffic going by, you get all this stuff that is muffling the noise coming from Bernie's. Now, I'm down there. I notice it. I walk around. I ride my bike down there at 9.30 in the morning, 10 in the morning, 11.30 sometimes, 2 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock at night. Bernie's, you can't hear. You drive by it in a car, you drive by it on a bicycle. Something is happening after 11 o'clock, whether it's people being in the bars, back at their cottages, having less noise outside, whatever it is, it's making the noise coming from Bernie's the only thing that the people on Havel Ave can hear and concentrate on because it's 11 o'clock at night and they're trying to go to bed or do whatever they're trying to do. We know that there is a concern. Al, after 11 o'clock, something's got to happen, whether it's the profanity. I know there's only so much you can do because once someone has a microphone in their hand, they can say whatever they want. I mean, it's just, it's the way it is. It's unfortunate you don't want children hearing that type of music. But there has got to be a way that we're what? We're almost in August. When, I mean, how long is Bernie's open for? Because like, we so actually- we Whoa, 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 whoa. excuse me, here. Regina has the floor. Okay, but Excuse me, Regina has I'm the floor. I want to know how, what time frame we have left. Hold on a minute. Regina has the floor. We'll let her speak. She, we'll let her people. speak. From Go the ahead. audience. Go ahead. I would like to know what time, how much of a time frame Bernie's has left for this Well, season. when, Regina, we're, Is that, we're yeah, not having a back and forth. All right, here. so, fine. We won't have a back and forth. Say we have okay. three months left. Say he goes through the end of October. All right, so we have three months left. So... Why can't we just make it that after 11 o'clock, we schedule some type of a monitoring to go down there? And if he's out of whack, we let him know right away. Do you want to, do you want to, I would but like the only to. trouble is, I'm, I'm, and we're not going back and forth with any more witnesses or anything, but I'm right. sure that Chief Sawyer might say he doesn't have the, the manpower to provide Monitoring after eleven o'clock. Can I ask the chief a question? No. Why don't you ask the town manager? All right, town manager. Can I ask you something? Is it true that sometimes the, there's a detail of Bernie's on Fridays and Saturday nights for police? When the chief considers it to be an essential function, yes. Okay, so if he could consider, if he considered it to be an essential function, could he perhaps have that officer do a random testing? If he gives that order, the officer would do it. Okay. Would you like me to come up? Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> to answer Regina's question, uh, we have been having police details at Bernie's at the request of the ownership. Unfortunately, with the depleted ranks we have, we are not always able to fill that. Um, Friday night, I believe, Saturday night we had two officers there, but Friday night we didn't. Okay, we have a lot going on uh, down there at the beach with different assignments to the point we're actually bringing in officers from other towns to try to help accomplish the mission. 
the state police isn't able to provide us with with the resources they used to. I used to get eight to ten troopers uh, out there, and on Saturday night I had one. Okay, it's just not it's not an essential function. You know, you know, when when we use the word essential, we're talking about life safety. This is a nuisance, and I, I understand it's a real one. But to say that I can dedicate an officer and it's going to happen, I can't commit to that. I just don't have the personnel to do that. Um, I do have uh, on, I believe it was Friday night, where I knew there wasn't going to be detail, detail officer down there. I did send one of the corporals down with the sound meter to make some measurements. And I just want to clarify on the, on the profanity issue, if I could, real quick. There is a freedom of speech element to it, but there is also a disorderly conduct element to that. The problem with it is people have to understand, if somebody is using profanity, I, I experienced that a little bit myself over the weekend, some people that were dissatisfied with some of the enforcement actions I took uh, during motor vehicle enforcement, highway safety grants, and I had some of that directed to me as chief of police in front of people. The police cannot be the offended party. Okay, That's case law in New Hampshire. We can't, if somebody drops an F-bomb, I can't arrest them for it. If there is somebody that's offense, offended by it, and it's reasonable that they would be offended by that, like an amplified situation like that, and they're willing to testify and give me a statement, that's something I may be able to try to curb that type of activity, and I think Mr. Fleury doesn't want to be known for that anyhow. I think that message has been made clear tonight. In the future, if there are things like that, we can take a report, but the person who is offended would have to be coming to court as a witness because the police cannot be the offended party. So, if that clarifies any of that. Thank you. Rusty? I got a question for the town manager. Uh, um, on a usual entertainment license that's indoors, what does the time go to on that? I believe there, let me read the licensing procedures. Hours of operation. The Board of Selectmen may vary the hours of entertainment activity based upon the circumstances of the application, i.e. more restrictive hours or additional hours. The using, operating, or permitting of an entertainment activity shall not be allowed between the hours of 1 a.m. and 12 noon on any day of the week. Outside entertainment activity shall only be allowed between the hours of 12 noon and 11.59 p.m. or earlier as specified by the Board of Selectmen. Those are your powers. So look, we have, we are, <coughs> and so by granting it as uh, with unrestricted, he's he's good till 11.59. That is correct. You have other, you have at least one restricted license I know of in town. And what's that? Uh, that one, you know, the chief will have to refresh my memory, but Stacy James. Stacy James. Yeah. Ten o'clock. Yeah. So we 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 have history of restricting some. Um, and you have denied some licenses. And we have denied some. Yes. You know, I uh, like I said, I I've, I've been down there specifically for this one specific case at least five times that I can remember in the past month or so. Um, and I went down on different nights, different times. Um, you're going to hear different noise on if the atmosphere is different. Um, I, I think Al has done a much better job this year over last year. I think uh, uh, he did try to work with the people. Or is trying to work with the people in the neighborhoods down there. He, um, when they brought it to his attention, I mean, he has gone and met with those people. He has done that, and I, I take Al at his word that he's going to continue to try to do that. Um, so, and that's why I, I second Regina's motion to, um, to allow it. Now. I would I wouldn't even mind if if they did I can understand the people's Monday uh, Sunday through Thursday wanting it earlier so they could have that I could see doing 11 o'clock on that those nights and go to the 1159 on Saturdays and Sundays I mean Fridays and Saturdays I think that might help out the people in the neighborhood it'll give them a little bit of relief until we but we need to work on this ordinance we need to find out 
I, I know what it what used to be, Rick. I know how it used to be. Um, but I think 50 decibels is way too too low to expect uh, in the beach type district. Um, and I know residential A butts up to the beach district, and you're always going to have that problem when when two different uh, zones meet up with each other. So um, I would rather see, like I said, I'd rather see 11 o'clock Sunday through Thursday, and then the 11:59. And we revisit the ordinance. And we revisit the ordinance uh, in the fall and because work if on we, it. We make it 11, then we don't even have to worry about this 50 anymore. 75 to 11. That's it. Yeah, I don't. That's have a the end of it. I never had a problem with 11. Yeah. All right, if I will reframe my motion, if you will second that motion. To 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock on Sunday through Thursday. Sunday through Thursday. And 11. And 11.59 on Friday, Friday Saturday. Saturday. I'll second that. Well, what is about Sunday? Is Sunday Sunday through 11? Thursday. <coughs> Sunday will be 11. Okay, okay. I, uh, I feel better about that. Um, so is it my time to talk? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> You're a good man. So... Uh, I intend, after we're finished here, to talk about the other issues that I mentioned earlier, and not just for here, but for, for all of the places. Um, so, yeah, you know, I agree with Regina. I was glad to hear you say, yeah, something after 11 o'clock, something's going on, you don't, it's, everyone's going to bed. There's not a problem. You know, people are watching the news, and, you know, there are people that live in this area. Uh, I do feel better about this. I think it's better. We've already heard from the chief that um, he there'll be no more of uh, being people told when they call to complain that um, well the board of selectmen agreed to that and that's just the way it is and we can't um, investigate because that's what many people were told that's what many people came at the beginning of this conversation that that, that was a big problem for a lot of people and it didn't even sound right so it's good that we know that that's not going to happen. If people still have an issue, they can call up and complain. Um, uh, and the season is, we're, you know, it's getting on. There's not that much more time um, left. So we, have, we can see how this works, and we can work to make something better. Uh, I think in the end, the voters are going to decide in many ways uh, if they're being listened to. Okay, um, I just want to say that when we're talking about this, when I, when I look at the, the report from the police on different days, and it says complaint received, level not in violation, complaint received, level not in violation, they didn't, it doesn't say told, said the selectman we could do this, but it says no violation of ordinance were identified, and that's on one, two, three, four, five different instances. That's from last year? Uh, 2017. Well, That's last this year. year was 16, and people, this people have been 2017. Saying, 2017 started in, in January? Yes, that's the okay. May, June, July, that's now. Okay, well, it does, last year they did, they did, right. well, this, right now he doesn't have the uh, uh, license. That's why they didn't have to say it. Last year he did have the license, and people were told when no, they no, called. No, 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 no. He's, he's a, a complaint. He has a he has a temporary license. He's and people, complaints Last now. year he didn't have an unrestricted license. No, I'm in talking about right now complaints that are filed right now. I'm talking about the complaints from last year. But right. Well, I'm talking about right now because there's been changes to the made to the to the uh, the venue. There's been changes made to the speakers. There's been changes made to a lot of stuff. So I'm talking about complaints right now. And I think that's what them. we have to work with right now. I know. And he didn't have a license, so people called up, and they were able to be dealt with by the police. Last year, people didn't came here. I didn't dream this. That people came and said they called the police department, and they were told. Right, but I'm talking. We, we okay, have to talk okay, about current. I don't care. Uh, I, I, well, that's logic. Well, I don't want it to go like it was last year. That's what I'm saying. I agree 100%. That is logical, too. I agree 100%. So my logic works just as well as yours. Just because you went down there when it wasn't noisy, that's your deal, not mine, okay. and not these people. Have you gone down? Yes, I have. Okay. And you know what I found when I went down the other day? I didn't hear the band either, but I could hear the people talking, and you should have heard what they were. It was, I found it kind of offensive. 
It was very, very noisy. It's but funny. that's beside the point. Okay. I'm willing to do what we're saying to do here. Okay. But just what you're happy with doesn't mean that's what these people are I don't are happy say with. that. I'm not saying okay. that what I'm happy well, with is what they're happy with. Than now. That's the only point I want to make. That's Thanks. good. Thank you. I would rather see the, the, it, it say Friday and Saturday and Sunday, he, the weekend he can have till 12 o'clock. Right. Just because you've got you've got eleven fifty nine. Just because the weekend is you know so you're taking one day and I. All right. So what's the motion that we give out? Your motion. His license. The only restriction will be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, eleven o'clock for this season only, and the whole ordinance is getting revisited on the town warrant for the March 2018. And ballot. if there are excessive complaints that are backed up. Mr. Town Manager. Sir. We can always revoke the license, right? You can. At any time. That's correct. At any time. Yeah. All right. As long as you go through the procedures and the license, yes, you can revoke it. But was it that way last year? That you could revoke? Why were, why were people told that they couldn't complain? I have no idea. I didn't tell them. We didn't even find out about the... I didn't find out about the complaints at the end of the season, and That's I'm pretty right. sure the owner didn't either, so... All right, so we, we have, have a motion. motion. We have a second. We have any more discussion? I don't want to close it off. We're set. Take a take a vote. All in favor? Opposed? I will go with the uh, in the with the idea that this is going to somewhat be better. It's just the beginning. Now I want to make another motion. Well, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Did you vote yes. against or yes? Yes, I voted yes. You voted yes, so it was Because it's somewhat of an improvement. I okay. don't think it's the okay. perfect answer. Okay. We all don't think it's the perfect answer, right? Right. I mean, that's, none of us think it's, none the, perfect of think it's the perfect answer. But this stuff has but to be addressed. I would also like to make a motion you may. that the we've got a letter from the DPW director that and he said it right here tonight that this is a health issue I want this investigated and I want to find out why the carts are not put behind the building I mean maybe it was hard before but now they bought the other property behind there there's got to be other places to put these barrels that aren't on the town right away and doesn't stop, doesn't affect people that are in wheelchairs that might want to go up and down those uh, uh, sidewalks that we invested and the taxpayers paid for you so did. that they would be handicapped accessible. That's correct. That's the reason. So, you them. so when we'll, so, we'll, by the time we come back here the next time, Fred, are these answer are these things going to be addressed? I've already uh, addressed those issues to the health officer. And he's going to have to inspect the property. If there's a health violation, there will be a summons issued. Mm -hmm. And these barrels are going to be removed from this sidewalk? The ordinance requires the barrels to be removed from public property as soon as uh, they are picked up and the material taken out of them on the regular collection date, whatever, whatever that date is. Okay, so tomorrow when I go down there, they're not going to be there at well, this time. Uh, what? Good luck. Okay. Having that done in that amount of time. Rick, I, I think we hear what you're saying, or I hear what you're saying. I think uh, the town manager has already spoke to the uh, public works director. He's already spoke to the left message for the health officer to get on work. I would think that, uh, I would hope that within a week we can have a report back from them of some resolution. I'm sure the uh, property owner would like to... Uh, talk with both of them and I'm sure with all three of them they can come up with a viable solution to the problem and we have a, a, a note back by next week so that we can bring it up again yeah. and I will tell you I want to say that when you go down there and take a look the uh, it's amazing how many people how people everyone tries to do the right thing and um, when people are allowed not to do the right thing, I think some of the problems, and I could mention a two or three places, it was more of a problem today when people put their trash out because it's Monday morning and it's that once a week uh, oh, yeah. pickup. Those are the people that are kind of abusing it. Uh, but as far as the other commercial places, I didn't see any problems. Well, I, I, I like I've been the down, way they wash their barrels. Well, and I like the way that some of the businesses down there wash their sidewalks down. They they power wash their sidewalks. They, yeah, they do if everything. Yeah, someone throws but, up, you need to do I, it because that is a health issue. I don't disagree with you, but I think we have, there's more That's than just waste. this one issue down the beach. 
And um, I, I would like Public Works to take a look at all of it. Thank and you. now's the time to do it while the businesses are in session. And Attorney Ells is standing up. Do you have a and point get of in order? Touch or with the other businesses, well, it's they're still I available. Just have a question. If 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 the board's done, Mr. Flurry would, uh, on behalf of Al, we'd like to have a copy of these letters. Apparently, everybody else has been advised of these problems, except him. This is more appropriately handled between the owner his manager and Kevin Schultz, the health officer, you Absolutely. just need to bring it to his attention uh, rather than, believe it or not, you guys have more important things to do than the planning board uh, approved this with conditions of approval. If he's violating those, there's a remedy there. The health officer certainly has all the authority in the world, and Al isn't interested in any more violations. You take these pictures for the last three days. Well, You'll see them I, all right there. I'd, I'd really no like to complaint. receive. You can see it for yourself. There I'd, re I'd really like to receive ready. copies of all of these letters, and uh, I appreciate the photos. Yeah. But hang on one second. I, 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 if I can, if I may, just I'm sure the town manager tomorrow will will inform Kevin Schultz. Have a chat tomorrow morning. And any any complaints that he has to relay the complaints and relay the violations to Mr. Flurry and to be taken care of. That would be all we all would ask for. Yes. And he'll fix it. Yes. Thank and, you. And as I just said, if he can do that, but also work with the the property owner, right? Because I'm sure the property owner is more than happy to to work at correcting the situation. Okay. Again, he should have been notified. Yep. Well, go down right now, just right by, and look, you'll see it. It's still there. It was there at right. five minutes to six. Why, why? Okay, okay, hang well, on. Al. That's what it is. Al, hang on. Rick, it's hard to on. take when it's true. Uh, can we move on to what we're going to do is, is we're moving on from this now. We're going to.